Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.9 For humanity, all actions other than those selflessly offered to Sri Vishnu are a cause of bondage to this world. O son of Kunti, therefore become free from all desires for the fruits of your actions and perform appropriate action solely for his satisfaction. Sar Ardavarshini Sri Bhagavan says, O Arjuna, if you quote Karmana Badyati Jantuhu from the Smritis as evidence that by performing action a soul is bound, and if you think that by performing action you will also become bound, then listen carefully. This is not always the case. Work, karma, offered to Parameshwara, the Supreme Lord, is not a cause of bondage. The present verse, beginning with Yagyartat, is spoken to explain this. Performance of one's prescribed duties, wherein the fruits are offered to Sri Vishnu, is called sacrifice or yagya. All action, karma, binds a person to the material world, but that action performed for the satisfaction of Vishnu does not. Therefore, to attain perfection in one's religious occupational duty, dharma, one must perform such duty properly for the satisfaction of Sri Vishnu. Arjuna may again ask, Will it be a cause of bondage to make a materially motivated offering, even though I am offering the results of my prescribed duties to Sri Vishnu? Sri Krishna thus says, Mukta Sangaha, perform action without any desire for the results. Sri Krishna instructed Uddhava in the same way. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.20.10-11 O Uddhava, a person who performs his occupational duties without desiring the fruits and who worships Sri Bhagavan by sacrifice, not engaging in the pursuit of any desirable sense object or any forbidden activity, attains neither heaven nor hell. Such a person who is situated in his own religious occupational duty, who has given up all forbidden activities and who is free from all attachment and envy, attains pure knowledge even in his present condition in this world. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti The Vedas say, Yagyo vai Vishnu. Yagya, or sacrifice, is indeed Vishnu. Sri Krishna also tells Uddhava in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.19.39 Yagyo ham Bhagavata maha. I, the son of Vasudeva, am Yagya. The Tantra Sada also states sacrifice to be Sri Hari himself. Yagyo Yagya Pumashchaiva Yagyaso Yagya Bhavanaha Yagya Buk Cheti Panchatma Yagyeshi Yo Hari Svayam In the two verses of Srimad Bhagavatam 11.20.10-11, which Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur has cited in his commentary on the present verse, the word Svadharmasta situated in one's prescribed duties, has been used twice. While commenting on these two verses, Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur says, First, a person does not go to hell if he is situated in his occupational position, Svadharma, and does not transgress the activities prescribed in scripture to engage in forbidden activities. And since he has no desire for the fruits of his activities, he does not go to the heavenly planets either. Second, 
A person who engages in selflessly offering the fruits of his prescribed duty to the supreme Nishkama Karma Yoga is called Svadharmastha, or truly situated in his prescribed religious occupation. When one's occupational duties, karma, are performed in accordance with scripture, without any selfless motive, and for the pleasure of Sri Vishnu, they purify the heart. Association with saintly persons then causes knowledge of Bhagavad Tattva, the fundamental truth in relation to the Supreme Lord Bhagavan, to appear in the heart. This allows one to enter the path of devotion to him, that is beyond the modes of material nature, Nirguna Bhakti. The great saint Sri Narada has spoken the same in Srimad Bhagavatam 1.5.32. O knower of the absolute truth, that work which is dedicated to the lotus feet of Sri Bhagavan, the controller and master of everyone, removes the three types of miseries. Sri Bhagavan also told the Brachetas. Srimad Bhagavatam 4.30.19 Those who know me to be the enjoyer of the fruits of all activities offer all of their activities to me alone. Such expert performers of action as well as those who spend their time hearing of and reciting my pastimes do not become bound by their actions, even though remaining in household life.